Welcome to your energizing vinyasa class for better focus. This is a 30 minute practice for all levels with a short guided meditation at the end. We'll begin by standing at the top of the mat, feet together or hip width distance apart. Let the arms rest alongside your body and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Ground down through your feet and bring your gaze directly out in front of you. Take a few deep breaths here as you feel your body expand in every direction, the front, the back, the sides. Feel your spine lengthen and feel your belly soften as you take one more breath here. On your next inhale, come up high on the toes to lift the heels up off of the mat. As you exhale, sink the heels back down. We'll do that two more times. So as you inhale, lift the heels up, coming up high on the toes. Exhale to sink the heels down. One more time here. As you inhale, come up high on the toes, lengthen through the crown of your head, hold here, and then extend the arms up overhead, reaching the fingertips for the ceiling. On your next exhale, release the heels and the arms down alongside your body. Bring your right hand to your right hip. As you inhale, reach the left arm up and over. As you exhale, come into a side bend. Breathing space into the left side body, reaching the left fingertips towards the right side and grounding down through the feet. Inhale to come up through center. Left hand will come to the left hip. Inhale, right arm comes up and as you exhale, side bend to the left. Reaching the right fingertips for the left side. Pressing the right hip out wide and then grounding down through the feet evenly. As you inhale, come back up through center. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Bringing the hands into a fist, bend the knees slightly, draw the fist down towards the ground, gently squeeze the shoulder blades together, take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, come into a forward fold, reaching your fist up and over, keeping the hips lifted up high, grounding down evenly through the feet. Reach the arms over towards the left side of the mat, gaze towards the right. Come through center and then switch sides. So bringing your fist and your arms over towards the right side, gazing towards the left. Come back through center. Release the hands down in front of you. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Maybe the hands come to the legs. And then exhale, plant the hands down, step back to a plank position, stacking the shoulders over the wrists, hold here, and then start to find circles moving towards the right side. So moving the toes and the hands, warming up the arms, the core, and then moving towards the left side this time. Find stillness in your plank position. Drop the knees down, lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes, keep the elbows hugged in. As you inhale, come into a baby cobra, lifting your chest, pressing down into the palms and the tops of the feet. As you exhale, slowly release down, tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps, and press yourself up through plank pose. Nice, strong core, downward facing dog as you lift the hips up high. Start to press into the hands, press into the heels. You can have a slight bend in the knees here, trying to keep the hips lifted up high, straight spine as you let the head and neck relax in between the arms. Keeping the core nice and tight, drawing the rib cage in. Starting to connect to your breath here, finding ujjayi breath if that is in your practice. So keeping the mouth closed, breathing in and out of the nose, finding a loud, audible breath. So finding a slight constriction in the back of the throat as you breathe. Ujjayi breath helps to retain your focus and your attention. So anytime your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to your breath. The sound of your breath, the quality, the length. Take one more breath here in your downward facing dog. And then step to the top of the mat Inhale to halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, palms touch overhead. 
Exhale, hands through heart center. Mountain pose, Tadasana. Letting the arms rest alongside the body, grounding down through the feet, preparing for sun salutation B. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. As you exhale, sink the hips down for chair pose, Ukatasana. Ground down evenly through the feet, core is engaged and shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to a high plank. Lower the knees down, keep the elbows hugged in, lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale for your back bend, baby cobra as you lift your chest. Exhale to lower back down, tuck the toes, press yourself up, finding downward facing dog. Take a breath here. On your next breath, find warrior one, step the right foot forward, spin the back foot flat at a 45 degree angle, press into the right foot, inhale to reach the arms up. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight, hips facing the front of the mat. One last breath. As you exhale, plant the hands down, spin on the back toes, step the right foot back to meet the left foot. Move through your vinyasa here so you can lower all the way down to the belly or you can lower into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath here. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Spin the back foot flat. Press into the left foot, inhale to reach the arms up. Bend into the left knee, back leg is straight, big breath in. As you exhale, plant the hands down, spin on the back toes, step the left foot back to meet the right foot for a plank. Option to lower down onto the knees or move through your chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. One last breath here. Then gaze at the top of the mat, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale to sweep the arms up, bend the knees, chair pose, ukatasana. Find that core engagement, strong through the legs. Inhale to straighten out the legs. Exhale, hands through heart center. Tadasana, mountain pose. Let your arms rest alongside your body. Gaze forward. Come back to your focus. Come back to your breath. Rooting down through the feet. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Find a standing back bend. As you reach the fingertips towards the back of the mat, push the hips forward, open the heart. As you exhale, ride the breath down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back into a grounded high lunge. Plant the left hand down and reach the right arm up. Gazing up at the right fingertips, keep the hips lifted up high. The right knee is bent over the right ankle, back leg is strong. Breathe into your twist here. Press down into the left palm. One more breath in. As you exhale, plant the right hand down, keep the feet as they are and just straighten out the right leg, coming into pyramid pose. Think of squaring the hips, so drawing the right hip back and the left hip forward. You can keep the hands here beside your right foot or you can walk the hands back with the fingertips facing towards the back of the mat. Folding over the right leg, think of drawing the belly close towards the right thigh, softening the shoulders, the upper back. Feel the stretch in the back of the right leg. And then walk the fingertips forward, bend into the right knee. Inhale for a high lunge, reaching the arms up. Pressing the hips down. Finding eagle arms. Left arm wraps underneath and around the right arm. 
squeezing the arms together, keep pressing the hips down. Bring the elbows up so that they're in line with the shoulders. Take one breath here, soften the shoulders down. On your next breath, you're going to step forward, grounding down through the right foot. So the left knee will bend as you step forward, lifting the left leg up, left knee bent, keeping the eagle arms here, strong through the right leg. Then finding full eagle pose as you wrap the left leg over and around the right leg. Sink the hips down, squeeze the legs together, keep the engagement in the arms. As you inhale, straighten out the right leg, uncross the left leg, keep the eagle arms, and then come into warrior three. So you're sending the left leg back, leaning the upper torso forward. So you're finding a T-shape with your body, keeping the hips squared towards the mats, and then bend into the right leg, step the left leg back to high lunge, and then open the arms out into cactus, bending the elbows, opening the hearts. Inhale, reach the arms up, as you exhale, come into warrior two, opening the hips and the shoulders towards the left side of the mat, bending into the right knee, back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Make sure the gaze is over the front middle finger. And then flip your front palm, reverse warrior, left hand comes to the back leg as you reach the right arm up and over, breathing space into the right side body. Come back into warrior two, Straighten out the right leg, reach the right fingertips forward, triangle pose. Right hand comes to the shin or the mat, reaching the left arm up. Left shoulder stacked over the right shoulder as you gaze up at the left fingertips. Come back into warrior two, bending the right knee, gazing forward. And then cartwheel the hands down, framing the front foot, spin on the back toes. Option to come into one-legged plank as you step the right leg back, moving through your vinyasa. Inhale for your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And then step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center. Find mountain pose, resting the arms alongside your body. Ground down through the feet. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Find a slight back bend. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right foot back for a grounded high lunge. Plant the right hand down and reach the left arm up. Back leg is straight, left knee stacked over the left ankle. Gazing up at the left fingertips, keep the hips lifted. One more breath in. As you exhale, plant the left hand down, keep the feet where they're at and straighten out the left leg. Think of drawing the left hip back and the right hip forward as you fold over the left leg, feeling the stretch in the back of the leg. Think of drawing the belly closer towards your left thigh. You can keep the hands here or you can walk the hands towards the back of the mat. Walk your hands forward, bend into the left knee, ground down through the left foot, inhale for a high lunge, reach the arms up overhead, press the hips down, finding eagle arms, right arm wraps underneath and around the left arm, reach the fingertips up and then sink the elbows down so that they're in line with the shoulders. Feel the stretch along the upper back. And then preparing to step forward. So bending into the right knee, leaning your body weight forward, putting your weight into your left foot as you step up, lifting the right leg up, bending the right knee. 
keeping your eagle arms, core is engaged. And then come into full eagle pose as you wrap the right leg over and around the left leg. Sink the hips down, keep reaching the fingertips up. Squeezing the legs together, finding your balance, focus here. On your next breath, straighten out the left leg, extend the right knee up. Come into warrior three as you extend the right leg behind you, leaning your upper body forward. Keeping the hips square. And then stepping back into high lunge, bending into the left leg, right foot steps back as you reach the arms up. As you exhale, open the arms out into cactus, opening the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, come into warrior two, extending the arms out wide, hips and chest facing the right side of the mat, back foot parallel to the back of the mat and gazing forward. Keep the weight even between the legs. Flip your front palm, reverse warrior. Right fingertips come to the right leg. Reach your left bicep towards your left ear. Come back to warrior two. Straighten out the left leg. Reach the left fingertips forward. Left hand will come to the left shin or the mat and reach the right arm up. So the right fingertips are stacked over the right shoulder, right shoulder stacked over the left shoulder, and the left shoulder is stacked over the left fingertips. Keep pressing the right hip back. On your next breath, come back into warrior two as a transition. And then cartwheel the hands down, framing the front foot, spin on the back toes. Step your left foot back to meet your right foot, option for a one-legged plank. Move through your vinyasa. And then meet in downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, lower the knees down to the mat. Keep the knees together or apart to come into child's pose. Extend the arms out in front of you and rest your forehead on the mat. Take a moment to come back to your breath. Start to tune inwards. Notice how you feel. Notice where your attention goes. about three more breaths here. On your next inhale, gently start to lift yourself up, coming into a seated position and then come to stand on the knees with the knees hip width distance apart. So we'll come into two different variations of camel pose. First beginning with the baby camel. Bring your hands to your low back, pressing your palms gently against the low back, fingertips pointed down towards the ground. As you inhale, start to ground down through the knees, lengthen through your spine, as you exhale, press your palms against your low back to push the hips forward. Lift the sternum up towards the sky and then open your heart. Keep squeezing the elbows together. You can keep your chin tucked in towards your chest or if it's comfortable for your neck, you can release the head back. Keep lifting the sternum up, opening the heart, pressing the hips forward. On your next breath, slowly lift yourself back up. This time you have the option to come into full camel or you can come back into a half camel. Tuck the toes under. Squeeze the elbows and shoulder blades together. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, slowly lean back as you press the hips forward, open the hearts. 
So you can stay here or you have the option of maybe reaching one hand for your heel and then the other hand for your other heel. Feel the stretch in the chest and the shoulders as you lift the sternum up. Breathing deep into the low belly, feeling the stretch in the front of the legs. When you're ready to come out of the pose, bring your hands back to your low back, lift yourself up, untuck the toes, come into a seated position with your hips over your heels. Rest your hands in your lap, right hand over the left hand, palms face up. Close your eyes. Take a moment to let the energetic effects of that back bend to settle into your body. Notice any subtle sensations that you feel. And then bring your attention back to the even flow of your breath. The even inhales and exhales. Gently blink the eyes open, plant your hands down, and then come into a seated position with the legs extended out in front of you. Keep the left leg extended long, bend the right knee. You can either keep the right foot on the ground beside the left leg, or you can cross the right foot over the left leg. Coming into a twist, placing the right fingertips behind you, gazing towards the right, inhale, reach the left arm up, and as you exhale, twist to the right, bringing the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Coming into Gyan Mudra as you connect the left thumb and pointer finger, releasing the other three fingers. Maintain a tall spine and ground down through your sit bones as you breathe into your twist. Slowly come back through center. Place your hands down beside you to the left. Bend the elbows lower halfway down. Come back through center. Extend the right leg and then bend the left knee. Again, you can keep your foot here or you can cross it over the right leg. Reach your left fingertips behind you. Inhale to reach the right arm up. Exhale to come into your twist. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee gazing over your left shoulder, connecting the right thumb and right pointer finger, breathing into the twist. Soften the shoulders down away from the ears. Take one more breath. Coming back through center. Plant the hands down to the right side, bend the elbows lower halfway down, and then come back to center. Come into butterfly pose as you bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees out wide. Ground down through the sit bones, lengthen through your spine as you inhale. As you exhale, start to fold forward in between the legs gently pressing the elbows to the inner thighs, opening up both of the hips. Relax the head and neck, the shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades draw apart. Take about three more breaths here in this pose. your next inhale slowly start to lift yourself up finding a straight spine bring the hands underneath the knees draw the knees together and then come to the center of your mats into a comfortable seated position you could be cross-legged here 
whatever feels most natural for you to be in for a meditation. Rest your hands on top of your knees or your thighs with the palms face up, coming into Gyan Mudra with the fingertips, so connecting the thumb and the pointer finger and releasing the other three fingers. Gyan Mudra is a great mudra for enhancing focus and concentration of the mind. So as you ground down through your sit bones, start to lengthen through your spine, but keeping the natural curve of your low back, softening your shoulders, relaxing your arms, and then closing your eyes down. So when we are able to control our focus or maintain our focus, the better we become at remaining in the present moment remaining in the here and now, not getting caught up in the ever-changing thoughts or stories that our minds like to entertain. When we are disciplined in our focus, our attention, the better we are at allowing the mind to settle, to relax and let go. And just as we practice this in our physical body, with the yoga postures, this is what we practice with our intellectual mind as we meditate. So for these next few minutes, I invite you to set an intention to remain as focused, as present as possible. So right away, you can start to connect to your breath. watching as the breath enters your body and then leaves your body. Breathing in whatever way feels most natural for you. But watching the flow of the breath and then feeling the subtle sensations as your body moves. Feeling the subtle rise and fall of the chest and the belly, perhaps the spine, the shoulders. Feel the presence of your breath and your body here. Start to tune into any sounds around you. Becoming fully aware of your body here on your yoga mat, in your room. Becoming aware of the fact that you are meditating. So as you continue to breathe, as you continue to focus, just start to notice what comes up. Notice any feelings, any thoughts. And whatever arises for you, Watch as it comes and watch as it goes, just as the breath does. Take these next few moments to observe on your own.
slowly start to release your mudra and wiggle your fingers, coming back to your physical body. On your next breath, reach the arms out beside you and then overhead. Palms touch. As you exhale, bring the hands down through heart center, feeling a deep sense of presence and connection. Bringing the chin towards the chest, bowing the head in gratitude, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this vinyasa yoga flow and meditation for focus. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next class soon.